expanding on this with Queens of the Stone Age bringing us in, expanding on this news that I covered last hour, the way they've written the guidelines and what they've done in other areas of the world, if you ever went in for depression or were ever told to do psychological screening, they'll say, oh, let me go ahead and put you on some drugs or let me say you have a psychological designation so your insurance pays for this. They give you one of these fake psychological designations. There's hundreds of them. Opposing government is uh, in the official manual in the U.S. mentally ill. Or you had heat stroke in Vietnam in 1968. And you wonder why you can't buy guns. You go in, they say, sorry, Nick says you're mentally ill. Some army psychologist or psychiatrist put that in there, you know, 30 something years ago. You now will have a SWAT team raid. And California was the beta test of this last year. You can look up Bloomberg articles about gun confiscation begins under federal uh, funding. Now it's going nationwide. And they use excuses like the tragedy at Shandy Hook with Adam Lanza, who tried to buy guns five times illegally because he was in the real mental health registry. And it didn't matter, ladies and gentlemen, it didn't matter what happened right there. Uh, it didn't matter if he got him illegally and broke into mommy's uh, gun safe. You have to lose your rights because of him. And they say Duck Dynasty is racist and their new gun line is bad because they sell semi-autos when semi-autos are used in less than 2% of the crimes. Look it up. Already showed you LA Times and others last hour. But don't let the facts get in the way of your tyranny while the government arms to the teeth. But again, your phone calls are coming up here in just a moment, and we'll intersperse key news and intel on the police state, the economy, and Hillary 2016 coming up during the hour. I wanted to hit this little stack of news. First, this is out of Reuters. Life-threatening cold bites U.S. Midwest. Residents of the Midwestern United States today, at Sunday, brace for the coldest weather in two decades. Temperatures that forecasters warned could be life-threatening. Icy conditions snarled travel across the region, and thousands of flights were canceled or delayed. Some officials preemptively closed schools, and in New York City airport, a plane skidded off the runway into snow days after the northeast was hammered by the first winter storm of the season. Historic freeze could break Midwest temp records. AP, coldest air in 20 years to aim at the nation's heartland. And then we move to the New Zealand Herald down by the Antarctic. That's the southern area of the planet for public school educated folks. Forest needed to be to cover carbon footprint of icy rescue. You've got multiple ice breaking ships that went down to try to save uh, the um, environmental tourism ship that went to see the melting Antarctic. That's how they advertise it before it disappears. It's the biggest ever recorded, thickest ice, fastest growing. And they also happen to go to the north of the biggest and fastest growing ever recorded. Uh, doesn't matter. They say that's proof of the global warming, record low temperatures uh, around the world uh, in, in at least the last two decades. And, of course, all the real astrophysicists and meteorologists say it's because the sun is putting out the least amount of output ever, ever recorded. Now, granted, they've only been recording it well for about 60 years. For several hundred, they've tracked sunspots and, and overall temperature readings. But the sun goes through a cycle. It was in a hot cycle 20 years ago. It's been slowing down for 10 years. The last five years, it's been cooling. It flipped polarity uh, six days ago, last Monday. The sun actually flipped, not just polarity. It actually rotated. First time ever documented by radio telescopes. But the UN voted five years ago to say the sun has no effect on climate. Like water has no effect on fish or air has no effect on humans. Yeah, you just will die without it. The sun's the main driver of heat. I know that's called a conspiracy theory. Being able to tie your shoelaces if it's not government approved doesn't exist. If I was staring at the sky and it was blue and I said it was blue, the MSNBC would say it was purple and it wouldn't matter if it was blue, they'd be right. They control reality. They are God. They are kings. They are the answer. And so now you've got multiple icebreakers stuck in the ice. The other group's already been reached by helicopter and flown another ship. But they've got Greek, they've got Russian, they've got, they're all stuck in the ice because of global warming. USA to rescue, U.S. Coast Guard icebreaker asked to assist Antarctic rescue vessels trapped in ice due to the spirit of Mawson fiasco, as it was known.
So there you go. And their answer was to have Al Gore come out and declare that this cold weather is global warming. And the answer is, pay his carbon credit company that's already made billions in London, England. It's called Gore and Blood. I'm not, that's not a pun. It's, he's Al Gore and his partner's last name's Blood. And then uh, and you've got the Chicago Mercantile trading this BS that Obama owns part of. Uh, if, if it ever pays out, it's over $200 million. Last time I checked, Obama will get. He signed an executive order last year. Well, not even an executive order. It was a signing statement on another order applied as an order on microwave uh, oven regulations to raise the carbon cost in the U.S. that's applied to almost everything, a hidden tax, to pay that piece of criminal trash your money and his bloated pig wife and all of the criminals up there at the degenerate compound on Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh, they say middle class and poor people need to have their taxes raised for the earth and to be good commies, but they make tens of millions of dollars off you. How disgusting. And the Republican leadership won't go after him because they're part of the same criminal crew and they're busy with the national uh, associations of broadcasters and uh, the national manufacturing associations and the sm so-called small business groups, all targeting tea parties with their full money, not even Democrats. The Republicans aren't even spending money on Democrats. They're spending money with that traitor globalist Carl Rove and the rest of them to destroy anyone who doesn't want to loot this country down to the ground. And don't worry, there's a good chance they're going to win because all the local ninny talk show hosts copy whatever the Republican leadership tells them, not even because they've been paid off, but because they think that's what big guys do. You repeat what George Will says. You repeat what, what Carl Rove says. You repeat what... Uh, Peter King says, and John McCain, and when you do that, why, you're a winner. You don't have to be intellectual. You don't have to be informed. You don't have to know anything. You just tune in to mainline Republican radio or print, and you vomit out what they say, and maybe you'll get a column in a local publication once a month and get no money, and maybe you'll get to be on local radio sometimes, and then that's what you do is rearrange deck chairs on the Titanic. Oh, we can't impeach Obama. Oh, we can't repeal Obamacare. Oh, we can't can't repeal the gun laws. We can't do anything because we can't let real republic restitution and restoration happen through the Constitution and through the states when we have the majority, when all of our policies are popular and common sense and Congress has a 6% approval rating. They've got to sell a giant galactic size fraud that the Tea Party is discredited and libertarians are discredited. And oh my gosh, Rand Paul shouldn't be in the Senate. And let's get rid of all these horrible people that don't want to fund Al Qaeda and don't want to have the NSA spy on us and don't want to have open borders and don't want to have Obamacare and don't want to have government run everything. I mean, these are horrible people. They're not being reasonable. They're not working with us. Not, uh, these people are traitors. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. By the way, I should add, this hour is brought to you by the best storable foods company out there that I found delicious and easy to prepare, put together with GMO-free crops, storable for 25 years, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex to find their specials, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. And it's so important when they want everybody on welfare and on food stamps to realize that they want us dependent on them, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex to get high quality storable food. And then briefly, we have InfoWarsLife.com with the Survival Shield with nascent iodine. And we also have the Fluoride Shield that has five other compounds with the nascent iodine to detoxify the body, pull the fluoride, all the rest of the garbage out to block the radioactive isotopes. See the information, see the videos, see the factoids at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 888-253-3139. And your purchases make the transmission possible. We have InfoWars, Wake Up America, Incredible Arabica, 
volcanic high mountain southern Mexico, Chiapas coffee, beyond fair trade, and two different medium roast blends. My favorite coffee is getting rave reviews. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And don't forget InfoWarsStore.com for all the Patriot apparel to spread the word and wake folks up and meet like-minded people and all the books, the films, the videos, all the best items, the films and books that I've made or written or that I support are at InfoWarsStore.com. All right, balance of the show. Got a few other news items I haven't hit, but we'll get to those. The persecution of farmers and others with paramilitary police and zoning boards. We're going to get to that coming up. But right now, your phone calls. We've got loaded phone lines here, all 12 phone lines loaded as usual. We're going to go to Eric, John, Eric, Terry, Lori, Truth, uh, Neil, Nancy, uh, Troy, Chris, Chase, Frank, and others. Eric in New Jersey, you're on the air worldwide. Hello, Alex. Hey, buddy. Hey, how are you? I, I just want to tell you, you're really admired in New Jersey. I found you through uh, when you went on Howard Stern, and I just loved your Piers Morgan. Let me just say this. I've gotten more love and listeners going on Howard Stern than going on shows like Piers Morgan his show's not big, Piers Morgan, but it got picked up nationally that I was on there. I mean, I've got a, I've never contacted Howard again. I hear he talks about me all the time. In fact, I tuned in once and heard him doing it. I need to contact Howard Stern next week, get back you on that show. You need to get back with him. Oh, yeah, it's because, huge. Uh, it's, it's, you know, let me tell you, I've experienced it. That show is big. The reach of his audiences. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Well, uh, you know, I've always been a radio fan, to be honest with you. And, you know, there's not been anything on television the last thing I could think of was Frazier that stimulated any level of intellectual anything, you know, with writers, producers, uh, and here we are with this reality TV. I can't watch anything, and I found you, and I'm glad. Uh, my question for you, sir, is going forward, uh, hoping to have some level of resistance to exercise our right to gather and uh, complain about uh, this government, how, how do you see that working out? Uh, when we're blocked every step from uh, on the web, uh, trying to plan something, uh, gathering, uh, the press is certainly going to not be on our side. Roadblocks being set up once numbers are heading towards the White House. That, that's pretty much my question. I appreciate you calling in. Let me try to answer that. The system with all its technology and all our tax money cannot put their fraud back together again like Humpty Dumpty. We have the moral authority. Look at how they're demonizing the real Tea Party, not the establishment Republicanoid Tea Party that tried to take over the last five years. Look at how Peter King says, get Rand Paul out of the Senate. Look at how they're trying to dig up dirt, you know, crooked toenails on Ted Cruz. It's not that these guys are even perfect. None of us are. It's that they're real opposition. The system wouldn't be trying to silence us and wouldn't be trying to shut us down and wouldn't be trying to spy on the Associated Press and Congress, if the criminals were in a good position. They just put on a big confidence act. We just keep marching against them, supporting real media, supporting alternative media, supporting politicians that are being attacked, supporting real libertarian-type Republicans. I'm sorry, there's really no Democrats I can think of that are actually doing it. I mean, Rosa Corey fights at 1021. She's a Democrat, or used to be. I mean, the Democrats are the cutting edge of the New World Order. The Republicans play the part of the opposition. They're just loyal. You figure out it's like the guy that takes a dive in a Don King fight. I mean, look at how professional boxing is a shadow of what it used to be, all because Don King dominated the sport with his mafia connections. That's on record. But still, people just don't watch it now, and they may still run it, but the racket's a shadow of its former self. UFC, I know folks on the inside, that's not rigged. That's a real deal. So it's incredibly popular. Let me tell you, that's real when somebody kicks another person, their leg breaks. I mean, they're not, they're not faking that, brother. That's why it's so popular. People want reality. I know Dana White. I know Joe Rogan. All of them. That stuff's real, folks. That stuff's real. And that's what people want is reality. Not corporate plastic BS. Reality is what's coming back into style. So just remember, we have the high ground. That's why the system's coming after us. Let's go to another caller quick here. Uh, let's talk to John in Michigan. John in Michigan, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Hey, buddy. Um, I'm calling to um, mention this. I've been listening for a while to the show, and I haven't heard anything. Have you heard anything about Operation American Spring? 
put together by the Patriots for America, uh, spearheaded by Colonel O'Reilly, uh, Harry O'Reilly, retired U.S. Colonel. No, I haven't heard about that. I know Al Gore called for an American spring like the CIA. Saudi Arabian staged Al-Qaeda takeover of the Middle East with the Muslim uh, punk uh, brotherhood. Uh, but I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But they're trying to put radical Muslims in everywhere to persecute good Muslims, good Christians, and others. Uh, so it's truly disgusting. Uh, but uh, give me more info on it. All right, this is well. This is retired Colonel uh, Harry Riley. He's from Crestview, Florida, and um, it's a three-phase operation. And he wants to implement it on May 16, 2014, in D.C. And uh, it's just a call to like patriots and uh, retired military, uh, especially with Obama's purging of the senior military. Um, I don't know. I it just they're all worried of martial law. You know, he may like do something like that. Sure. Well, here's the deal. We're already in martial law when they have warrantless checkpoints and TSA and warrantless wiretapping. They don't want us to ever know that we're already in a level of martial law. We're already in the cooking pot. Bubbles are forming at the bottom. But there's always silver bullets to go march on D.C. D.C. is just a place where they buy off the politicians. Northcom. Cheyenne Mountain, places like that's where the government's really run. Uh, but I do think marching, demonstrating any resistance is victory. It's a process. But the biggest thing is supporting farmers' markets, uh, getting out of the system, not complying with bureaucrats, uh, being on the offense and the defense, offensively exposing them while preparing a defense, defending the Second Amendment while digging in. I mean, this is a war. People want to know what the fall of America would look like. This is it. Enemy foreign corporations, not just some Hitler or Stalin or King George III, but corporate interests in a corporate takeover, already in control of the government, the Federal Reserve, the tax money, using tax money to deindustrialize the country, doing everything they can to dumb us down, concern us with sports, petty garbage. More calls coming up. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com so many people want a magic bullet to defeat tyranny. It's a billion different bullets that'll bring it down. It's changing ourselves inside and then changing the world around us. It's a process. But I was thinking about today, what is most important in this fight is learning about the enemy, learning about globalism, private corporations, the robber barons of Europe, the United States, about 150 years ago. They've written books, publications, we've covered it on air, where they said there's no way to keep control of Europeans and Americans. How do we do it? Well, we get control of education. We dumb them down. We create a welfare system in the name of speaking to their Christian charity to take care of the poor. We grow a giant underclass that is controlled by us. We then make them the civil servants, and we overthrow the middle class and even the nouveau riche wealthy and bring in our absolute tyranny. And again, they exempt themselves under globalism from the rules they put over you. So it's the ultimate form of discrimination. They restrict free speech in the name of banning racism. The list goes on and on. So the biggest issue is realizing that when I say America has been occupied by select corporate anti-free market monopoly interest, that's what they call themselves, is corporatist monopoly men and they are creating basically dog training systems where the corporations the companies all of it is about data mining you tracking you as a tool of control 
and then being able to identify who you are and then basically retaliate against you. And for the average person out there, so many men I talk to are intelligent. They say, man, I'm not getting my head up. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep my head down. I'm just going to make money. That's why you're enslaved is because all of you feel like you don't have to go all the way. Now, a lot of people like Chuck Norris and Nolan Ryan, I mean, uh, I know both those guys. I know their families. I've talked to them. Um, Norris has been on the show many times. Norris puts me weekly, sometimes in his column in WorldNet Daily. I know he knows about it all. I know he listens almost every day. But I'm so radical, see, he won't go that far, even though he knows it. Same thing with Nolan Ryan. And I'm just throwing two names out I was thinking about today. I was thinking about all the listeners we've got. So many of them. More famous than Chuck Norris or Nolan Ryan. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, incredibly famous. Famous retired senators, uh, retired Congress people, uh, big movie stars, bigger than Chuck Norris, uh, huge musicians, as big as it gets, as big as it gets. I mean, that's why I admire people like Mike Judge. He's come on the show and says he's a listener, but he's worried about retaliation for being politically active and not being a communist. But you've got to buck up against that. For every person that comes on, there's at least 10 famous people that contact me over the years but are afraid to go on the air. The star of Die Hard is a listener of the show and has spoken out against the New World Order and says both parties are controlled and that he's woken up, Bruce Willis. But again, Bruce, you can't just, you can't just go give one speech or talk to Vanity Fair. You have to fight these people. You, you have to not be friends with Arnold Schwarzenegger anymore because he's anti-gun, pro-open border, pro-carbon tax. I mean, you have to decide, folks. You want to work with the New World Order or do you want to defeat it? And I'm talking to FBI agents, police, bureaucrats, school teachers, all of you. You got to start not going with the system and actively politically sabotaging it and not playing ball with it. I mean, it comes down to that. We are the majority. The average person wants freedom, but they're scared. And they always say, I'm so glad you're out there, and I'm so glad that you're willing to speak out, Alex. We're glad you're there. Look at Vigo Mortensen. He's a listener. I tell my crew, we only did it a few times, randomly go to L.A. and go to one of these public events where a Hollywood star is and say, hi, we're here with Alex Jones. Half the time they walk over or more and say, I'm a listener, but I don't want to come on. Only every once in a while is it a Vigo Mortensen or somebody like that who says, oh, yeah, I want to come on and talk about it. And again, it's not that it matters that they're a Hollywood star. It matters with the people that are into that so that we have real solidarity against tyranny. And I'm not here name dropping names, ladies and gentlemen. The point is, is that society is degenerating and you see them trying to take down people that will go after the NSA. Their lives are in danger. I'll tell you right now, Rand Paul's for real trying to sue the NSA standing against him. His life's in danger. My life's in danger. We're committed here. And the average yuppie goes, oh, you're a fool. No, I'm not a fool. You're a fool. And my ancestors weren't like your ancestors that rolled over to every bully. Because we know paying the bully off only leads to rack and ruin. Listen, I'd give in a little bit and wouldn't be so hardcore against a boss hog type system that's corrupt but doesn't want to destroy everything. This system wants to destroy everything. It's a very evil force. The New World Order, Agenda 21, globalist program is not a game, ladies and gentlemen. It's not something you play games with. That's why I have no fear of my life, no fear of my name, nothing. I don't care what they do to me. I'm not looking forward to it. But let me tell you, I'm committed to this if it meant 10 years being tortured in a jail cell. I'm ready. I am not signing on with these people. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News. And over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones radio show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.